Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we are gonna talk about the exit types within Divi Mega Pro. And exit types is essentially the way that the Mega Menu or Mega Tooltip closes. And so by default, when you uh, trigger your Mega Menu and then your mouse leaves the Mega Menu area, it will disappear. And so that is the exit type. So it's basically the default exit type is hover. So when you hover out of the area, it moves away. And so there is a way to change that. So if you move the mouse, it will stay until you click either the close button or click outside of the area. And so I'm going to show you how to do that here inside of Divi Mega Pro. And so the first thing you do is just go to the mega menu uh, or mega tooltip that you want to change the exit type for. And you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Mega Pro Additional Settings. And so we already talked about, uh, there's already a tutorial for uh, changing the trigger type. So whether or not the Mega Menu or Mega Tooltip is triggered by a hover or a click. And so you can do the same thing to change the exit type. So whether you want it to be uh, the Mega Menu to disappear on hover or disappear on click. So we're going to change it to click. Again, the default is hover, and that's what you normally would see you move out of the area, it disappears. <clears throat> and so we're gonna change that so it will stay on screen even after your mouse leaves. So uh, we got it changed the exit type to click. We updated the post. So I'm just gonna refresh this page here. Don't know why it's loading so slowly, it's a local site. So now you can see when I hover over this mega menu, I'm gonna move my mouse and it doesn't matter how long I stay out of the area. As long as I don't click anywhere, it's gonna stay up. But as soon as I click, it's going to disappear. Or you could come back here to the close button. And so that's uh, combining the exit, the trigger type for exit with a uh, close button is always a good thing and so we have a tutorial on how to set up a close button but essentially come over here to close button and enable it on either desktop or mobile um, and then uh, you can uh, have that close button so that when their mouse leaves if they're not sure how to close it then there'll still be a close button for them to click on um, so uh, this works for mega menus it also works for mega tooltips and so I already have a mega tooltip set up here um, and so the exit type is also set up for click. So it's going to stay open until I either click this close button or click outside of the area. And so that can be really handy for mega tool tips uh, because you might have a small area and so it might be easy for their mouse to leave the area. And so uh, you don't want it to just disappear on them. And so it requires them to either click the close button or click the uh, click outside of the area. And, and same thing with mega menus. Uh, if you have multiple mega menus or you have maybe uh, some options on the left column that you want them to get to. And so you don't want when their uh, mouse just barely hovers outside of the area, you don't want it to disappear on them. So for example, here we have the, the tabs demo. They might Their mouse might be trying to get over to here, but if it goes slightly outside, this one actually is set, so there's a delay, but um, you don't want it to just immediately disappear as soon as your mouse goes outside of the area when they might be intending to come down here. And so um, that is the purpose of setting the exit type to click uh, to give that user uh, the ability to keep that open and it won't immediately disappear on them. And so you can decide what creates a best user experience. In our opinion, it kind of depends on uh, how many menus you have, how many mega menus you have on the page, uh, how big the menus are, uh, what options are inside the menus. And so you can kind of play it around on the front end of the site and pretend you're the user. And if it starts disappearing on you too quickly, you have two options. You can change the uh, exit type to click or what we're going to talk about on the next tutorial is adding a hover delay. So if the exit type is still set on hover, you can add an exit delay. And so we're going to go through that on the next tutorial.